Okay, I'm gonna hop right in. Hey Vicki, so when it comes to new places, I tend to get really awkward and shy around people. But lately, I've been talk trying to work on it, like talking to people at school and having conversations with other employees at the job that I started about three and a half months ago. But sometimes I feel like it's not enough, like people just know that I'm faking it. I have a small group of friends and I've made it a goal to start working on who I am as a person to make my last year of high school better, but where do I start? I've made this resolution many times in the past, but it just never seems to work out. Can you please give me some tips on how to gain confidence as well as looking for who you are as a person? Okay, so there's a few things I want to cover in here. The first one is, I've said it a million times, anyone that is looking to make new friends, talk to people, get over awkward conversations, develop confidence, all that, the best way to do it is to show interest in others. Um, ask other people question because, questions because literally everyone is walking around thinking about themselves, like how they appear, if other people like them. So if you show interest in other people, and obviously I'm sure you're not a creepy stalker, you just show interest in them, they're going to like that. And in their head, they'll like, like you for some reason. I can't figure out what it is. Really, they don't realize they like you because you're showing interest in them, but that's what it comes down to. You don't have to change your personality that way. You don't have to like put on this mask of like, oh, God, hi. It's like not you at all. You can just ask them questions. Um, the diversity in people's personalities, like that's what makes life awesome. We don't all have to be plastered with like fake smiles and high toned voices 24 seven. You can still smile. Smiling is really important because it lets someone know that you are, you notice them and acknowledge them and it makes them feel noticed, but it doesn't have to be plastered on your face 24 seven. Just ask people questions, get to know them. Um, also in terms of people thinking that you are looking fake, always remember you're thinking more about yourself than other people are. So chances are, A, they probably did not sit there and think that you were looking fake, but B, if they did, it literally went in in their mind and out their mind. Like, oh, that was a little odd. Okay, done, over it. Like, they've, they're not even thinking about you anymore. Um, that's what I have to remind myself. I obsess over things and I'm like, dude, nobody cares about me like I do. Seriously, I went in their ear and out the other and they were like, okay, whatever, moving on. So, um, but you probably did not, you do not look fake. You're probably just thinking that because it's you in your head, if that makes sense. So yeah, don't worry about it. Just show interest in other people, lots of interest in other people. Um, I always say this, don't try to appear interesting and be interested. So yeah, send your messages to askvickyp at gmail.com and I will see you next time. Bye guys. An initiating connection, guys should pursue girls. But this is dance, and dances kind of have more of a fun, light feeling to them. So I would say you can ask him, you know? And don't be intimidated by the fact that other girls like him.